Today I'm trying to set up my Chromecast. It's not connecting to the Wi-Fi for some reason. Chromecast here's name is CC Living Room. I don't use the Chromecast that much anymore. And when I went into Play Store, where's Play Store? I searched for a Chromecast, all it took me to was Google Home, which is fine. So it wants me to set up my devices. I wish they had the Chromecast app. I don't really need to use Google Home, but that's what Google wants me to use. So I found the Chromecast, said Chrome is found, it needs to be activated. Sure, why not? Why do I need to go to Help Center? So I now have to go to Device Utility App in Play Store. Okay. Can they make this any more complicated? Next. Next. Again, this whole thing. Next, Allow. turn off Wi Fi. Really, turning off my Wi Fi. Oh man, this is painful. Turn it off. Okie dokie. So they want me connected to the Chromecast. That's no problem. I need to turn on Wi-Fi. I really need to turn off my Wi-Fi. I just need to have to look for it. And I need CC living room. Like over here. Going to CC. No, don't connect me there. I just want to connect to CC living room. Okay, it's connected, so now I need to go back here. Where's device utility? Yeah, connected. So literally, Google Home created an app called, or Google created an app called device utility so I could just do this. Go to internet settings and then connecting to Chromecast. I It blows my mind that they had to create a separate utility just for this. Anyways, I'm just doing what they asked for. Still waiting. Again, I wish they had the old Chromecast app. This is not easier trying to use Google Home. And what's better yet, I get cannot communicate with your Chromecast and I'm literally right next to it. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's already turned off. Is it connected?
Connect, please. Man, this is really painful. Uh, hey, Google, I think you need to test your stuff. Okay, I, turn, I did it. I did it already. I, did, I turned off Wi Fi already. It's connected already. Dude, this utility is ridiculous. You know what? It's probably easier for me just to factory reset this device. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. I think the problem here is I'm not close enough to my Wi-Fi. And so that's why it's kicking me in the air. But still, it should tell me can't detect Wi-Fi. I can see why some people don't use Chromecast when they come and run into this type of problem. This is my screen up here. And could not communicate with Chromecast. Okay. Mm, I'm going to try restarting this phone, but I'll try setting it up another day. This is tiring. Round two. I'm going to try it again. I factory reset the Chromecast over there. And then I factory reset, I mean, not factory, I reset my Chromecast. Then I reset my phone, and now I'm going to go ahead and go through this utility here. Turn off Wi-Fi, no problem. Just do what they ask me to. Done. Oh, sorry about that. To do that, okay, it says connect to Chromecast. Turn on the Wi Fi. Connecting to the lib the Chromecast. Going back here. Hoping that it'll figure out what it needs to do. And if this doesn't work, I will factory reset my Chromecast, which is easily done. Again, my Wi-Fi is spotty over here. Still, I would think it would give me a better message than can't set up.
Okie dokie. There's two things I could do. I could use a different, like, tablet over there and try setting up. <coughs> Which I can try anyways. It doesn't hurt me to install Google Home. All this. Let's see if I can set it up with this instead. I've already wasted 15 minutes of my time. Obviously, this is a first world problem. You can't set up your electronic devices accordingly. Okay, it's forcing you to do vertical. Asking me to select someone. Okay. Yep. Hit next. Click allow. <coughs> Up here it says set up Chromecast. So I'm going to blur that, but I'm going to choose my home. <coughs> I'm battling the cold. I found the Chromecast. And I'm going to click yes. So long story short, sometimes one device doesn't work and sometimes another device works. And so I need to just match the codes and click yes. And they ask if I want to help improve Chromecast, send device stats. No, thank you. Because I don't want them having my information. And where is this device? You guys don't need to know. Next step is to connect to your Wi Fi, select your Wi Fi. Mm, no thanks. I don't want you to have any access to my Wi-Fi passwords. Obviously you do, but I don't want you to save it. Connecting to Wi-Fi. It's connecting. This ordeal. It will take me about... 20 minutes, I guess. Fetching update, connecting to Wi-Fi. So I think everything's set up. Long story short is sometimes devices aren't easy to set up. And so I tried multiple times. Tried one time with this phone, reset, the, reset my phone and reset the Chromecast. That didn't help. And then yeah, I got a washer issue back over there. Then I just instead used a tablet. This is running Android 11. This is running Android 10. So maybe it's more compatible using an older Android. I don't know. I just know that I use it a different tablet using a different version of Android and it worked fine. Okay, so that's my long story. It should have been a short story. I made plenty of videos about this. And so this is just another video showing you how difficult it can be to set up a Chromecast.
For me, the easiest solution was to, instead of using my phone to set, set it up on Google Home, I use my tablet that's running an older version of probably Google Home and Google Android. And it's all done now. And it's going to reboot and I'm um, calling it quits. Thanks for watching.